shirt and some jeans and my boots And then it's time to make that morning dry I'm here today to show you how to crack an egg Work all day till I'm totally beat Get back home and fall right to sleep Along goes on, friend, the morning and the cycle's complete Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collect Tools. Welcome back to a brand new video. We woke up at 2 a.m., leaving at 2.30 to the Sherman Show. Uh, you know, uh, the show last time wasn't so good, but we are hoping a lot of people aren't waking up today and we're the ones waking up today showing up to bat. Uh, we plan to meet with a lot of cool dealers, find some nice stuff. And uh, a tip for you guys to start off the video is if you're having a bad day, pick up a coin that you like. Um, that you enjoy or if you're having a day that you just want to have a little bit more happiness in it uh, I picked up this Cali just to uh, I don't know give me a little bump give me a little excitement give me, give me a little drive to keep going and uh, enjoy the video and uh, stay tuned to uh, watch the sermon show We are at the Sherman, Texas show, um, and we're sitting at a dealer's table. He's letting us take a, a video of $100,000 worth of palladium. If you want to show them real quick, Casey. A uh, few better dates, all pre-sold, but um, just a few cool things you'll see at a coin show. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty insane what you what you might find, but I'm sure he bought a big collection from somebody and. Coming harder and harder to find for sure, but pretty neat. Okay, so we're here for our halftime show with Casey. How's the show been so far, brother? Fantastic. We've been able to socialize with a lot of people that we haven't seen since last year, like Rodney right here behind me with the Hawaiian shirt on. That's good. Aside from that, we've got to see a lot of cool things today that you'll be seeing in the video. So. Stick around, we'll show you some of that cool stuff. Hey guys, just made it home from the Sherman, Texas Coin Show. Wanted to share with you five of the top coins that we picked up at the show. The $100,000 worth of palladium was pretty cool, uh, but we did actually pick up some coins for ourselves for the shop. All will be available at AcousticCollectibles.com. In the video of the palladium that we showed earlier, uh, the guy actually came across this deal at a hole puncher show. And if you don't know what a hole puncher show is, use your imagination. But that's the reason why we bought these shirts right here. We buy coins and our phone number because you don't know where you can find a coin deal. You don't know if someone, you know, right next to their hole punchers are some nice coins as well. So, um, you know, 
always keep your eye and ear to the ground when you're anywhere because you could be running into a big deal like he found. I'm praying for one of those. Hopefully one of those come to me. That would be wonderful. The first coin I want to show you in today's video is this nice 1875 S20 piece. Oh yeah, okay. Well, the reason why I bought it is because it has some beautiful luster. Details are immaculate. Um, you know, I don't think the coin has been dipped before. You know, who knows? It could be an MS64, in my opinion. But uh, the holder's a piece of crap, and that's an issue. But other than that, I really love the coin. Very fortunate. Always pick up a 20 cent piece when you can afford it, and also when you can make a little dough on the side. We're switching it up in today's video, and we're going to show you guys a raw coin for the second coin. This is an 1856 half dime graded VF by the guy that sold it to me. The thing that I love about this coin is that it's L original, which means it's original. Uh, every single part of the coin is nice, no cleaning, um, no problems, which I really do enjoy, and most collectors pay a premium for, which is why I buy coins like this. Um, the interesting part about this coin is that. Uh, this guy that's the dealer, his neighbor passed away, and uh, the 20th coin that that guy had in his typeset was this one. So you can see that 20 to the left of the coin there, which makes me really enjoy uh, looking at this coin. But when you flip it over, you can see the same story on the back here. Got some toning, got some originality. It's a gorgeous coin. Always pick up stuff like this. Do you guys want coins like you just saw that I got from the show? Make sure you uh, check out our website at acousticcollectibles.com. Like this video so you reach more numismatists. Uh, comment your thoughts down below. Uh, what show are you going to be going to in February? And uh, subscribe if you're new. Cotton Candy. This 1937S Buffalo Nickel graded MS66 by NGC is beautiful. The reason why it is because it has some nice luster. Um, the color on the obverse is really nice. You got the blue around the date there. You got the pink covering the rest. Um, of the obverse there just oh, oh so beautiful and when you flip over the coin you can see some green right by the face of the buffalo pink all the way out through the back so the reason why I picked up this coin is because it has nice luster it is a buffalo but when you're buying buffaloes you want something that makes it unique and the color on this coin made this coin really unique worth the pickup this 1935s Lincoln cent is the most expensive coin I've ever bought in my life it's a $15 coin that I bought today. The reason why I bought it is because it has beautiful blue toning on the obverse of the coin. When you get it in just that right spot, all the colors just pop out on the coin, which is very nice. Um, you know, can't complain with that. It is a weak strike, which sucks. Gives it that 64 grade. When we flip that sucker over, um, it's got the same story on the reverse. It's got that blue toning that's popping out. Um, it's got a little green haze as well, which adds that little bit of character. But coins like this... With that character, worth picking up. Pretty nice coin. The last raw coin I want to show you guys in today's video is this awesome, stunning 1903 Barber Dime. Uh, graded XF details, according to the guy that sold to me. And uh, I kind of agree with him there. A lot of nice details on the obverse. And you can see that toning there, just giving it that pop. Wow. Mmm. Yummy. Um, but then, the problems start when you flip over to the reverse here. Uh, you can see some harsh cleaning. They didn't like the toning on the reverse, so they started on the reverse and they gave up um, after that. But overall, you know, it has some different colors on it. Uh, it has something that's different from most Barber Dimes. So I picked it up for an extremely affordable price. And then I'm just going to pass the savings on to you guys because uh, you can't, just can't pass on Barbers like this. Too cool. I said I was done with Raw Coins this video, but I lied. The reason why is because I wanted to show you this 1829 cap bus dime. This cap bus dime, oh, it's original. El original. When you look at the obverse here, you don't see any old cleaning. You still kind of see that, that dark uh, black to it, which is pretty nice. Gets that original feel. Um, you know, I enjoy the coin a lot just because the details are popping out and, um, you know, the fields are kind of staying dark. Gives it that contrast. And then when you flip over this sucker, uh, you know, the grade's not the best on the reverse here. You do see States and United and a little bit of the 10 cent kind of fading away from circulation. But the reason why I picked up this coin is because the details and the fields are kind of different from each other. Uh, you can see the details pretty nice while, uh, you know, the fields kind of complement it. So, uh, you know, pretty nice 1829 dime. Uh, I can't complain here. Always buy coins like this. Hey, Drew, how would you rate the Sherman coin show? Well, with all this in mind, and, uh, you know, we bought a few coins, pretty nice ones, made some content, met some nice people. That was great, but 
our costs were probably barely covered for this show. So I would give this show a 5.2. Would I show up for this coin show again? You bet your bottom dollar I would. You know why? Because you never know what you could find. Always show up to bat. You might find something nice. This show we did, but nothing too crazy. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below and subscribe if you're new. New videos every single week. And we'll see you guys in the next one.